For me, it is essential to have light and ventilation. So I was looking for an apartment where I could always have the doors and windows open. Almost all the objects in my house are either made by me or second hand. I am an Italian architect living in Buenos Aires and this is my rental apartment. I share this apartment with my three cats and have been living here for two years. This video is sponsored by Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. At NTS, we team up with designers and videographers from all around the world to bring you amazing designs like these. We've been using Babbel to learn real-world conversations in Spanish, Dutch and Italian, which really helps to break the ice when working with new designers. It's nice to be able to greet people in their own language. Ciao! Io sono Federica. The app is intuitive and fun to use. It allows us to learn new words using flashcards. Arrivederci! We particularly like the speaking section, which allows us to perfect our accents. Come ti ami? Babbel is designed by real language teachers and with you in mind. So if you're working with people from around the world like we are, traveling, or just simply interested in learning a new language, then give Babbel a go. Click the link in the description to get 60% off your subscription. My apartment is located in Saavedra, a suburb of the city of Buenos Aires. The neighborhood is a mix of older residents and young people, with bars, restaurants and parks, all within walking distance. The apartment is an L-shaped studio apartment, with an open-plan living and bedroom space, a kitchen and a bathroom. When you enter the apartment, you are in the kitchen space. Near the door, there is a dining table. I use it to prepare meals and as a desk when I work from home. I kept the color palette and material used in the apartment very simple, to avoid making the space feel visually heavy. The few decorations I have are gifts, like some little animals that my nephew gave me or some painting that my friend made to pay for her trip to Berlin. For the living space, I added two wooden armchairs and a small table. The green wall is a way to bring a bit of nature inside the apartment. By adding simple green and white furniture, I created different hikes and levels. Echo Bianco. In the middle of the plants, there are some smart lights. Echo, rosso. I created different light scenes throughout the day. I designed and built a custom raised platform bed with built-in storage to convert part of the open living area to a bedroom. Two cubes at the bottom of the bed serve as a ladder to climb onto the platform. I built and assembled the custom bed at my blacksmith and carpenter friend's workshop. The structure is made of iron. The vertical panels are made of MDF covered in white melamine. The cubes can open up and act as a storage for my household items. I added wheels to make them easier to move around. I added a floor to selling bookcase to separate the bedroom and living areas. The bookcase uses tension rods to stay up and the horizontal panels are made of phenolic wood. When I move to a new apartment, I can easily disassemble, then reassemble. I tied the plants to the bookshelf to prevent the cats from knocking them over. I didn't change much in the bedroom. I only had to make a modification to the shower floor to prevent water from running into the rest of the bathroom when using it. I also made a metal open mesh shelf for the shower to prevent water from sitting on the shelves. 
What I love most about this apartment are the balconies and the large terrace above. I have great open view of the park nearby. This is not typical for apartment in Buenos Aires. The first balcony is accessed from the living area. I decided to put large curtains, so when they are closed, they look almost like stage curtains. The second balcony is on the other end of the apartment. It has high walls and I use it like a patio. It also leads to the rooftop terrace via spiral staircase. I built a pergola using recycled wood to be able to use the terrace in summer. I also installed an automatic irrigation system that allowed me to maintain all the outdoor plants on the terrace and on the two balconies. I believe that all spaces have to be flexible and be able to adapt to each different need and situation. Furniture should be flexible and easy to assemble and dismantle so that they can be moved around, generating more fluid spaces and clear paths. Is your rented apartment made to be featured on Never Too Small? If so, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.